Don't go anywhere. It's the European Cup 1914. England v Germany. After the break. And it's pulled now by Atley, straight into Rommel's feet, and he's bringing it back into Atley's feet once again, and now it's Rommel again, here we go, and Atley, here we go, free kick, straight into the German front line, no result, Hitler, and it's a second goal for Germany, back at the camouflage net. What on earth was that? I mean, what on earth was that? Have you all forgotten why you're here in France, eh? He's to beat the boss, sir. Exactly! Uh, football! That was shocking, abysmal. The worst first half I've seen from an England side since our last performance. I mean, come on, fellas. You're the British expeditionary footballers. All 11 of you. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Captain, where's the rest of the squad? They all went down in the German six-yard box, sir. Did the referee see it? I mean, there's a penalty in that. No, sir, it was a German machine gun. They're all dead. To be honest, I'm glad I was back in goal. Right, well, we better warm up the reserves then. I mean, it could go into extra time tonight, I reckon. Yes. Yes, Private. How long is extra time, sir? About four years, I think. We're actually running out of substitutions, sir. Should I get the under-17s to lie about their age? Can somebody tell me why we didn't win a single throw-in or corner? Anyone? It's the spikes on their hats. They keep puncturing the ball, and then when a replacement gets thrown in, they get it because they had the last touch. Not sporting, is it? A bit like that bayonet tackle on their far right winger. What was his name? Hitler. Sir, I was going for the ball. I saw. He had to be stretched off. He was angry. Very angry. He barely went in him. The ref was out of line giving me a yellow for that one. Now, the, the referee is an American, okay, and therefore completely neutral. Sadly. It's never a reckless chance. It certainly wrecked his chances of having children. I thought it was a red for a moment. Luckily, it turned out to be all the blood spraying up from his groinal gash covering the ref's cards. Get your head in the game! And that goes for you too, Private... Uh, uh, William Hill, sir. What's the matter, Private William Hill? You look like you've suffered a large financial loss. I've got £200 in England to win this game 6-1, sir. <laughs> what am I going to do? I told him to stop when the fun stops. Took no notice of me. I think he's got a problem. What am I going to tell Doris? We're going to lose the house. Oh, what about the kids? We're all going to have kids. <laughs> Captain, this is unacceptable. I know. I keep telling him to wear his protective cap, but he doesn't. It's probably because of the stupid man bun. Don't worry, I'll dock his pay. Here, here, Private Hill. Worst things happen at sea. Huh? It could have been on the Titanic. <sighs> Too soon. Look, just snap out of it, okay? And that goes for all of you. Everybody at home is depending on us to win this thing, yeah? It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. <laughs> yeah? What is, sir? Uh... I don't know. Venereal disease? Uh, hang on. What's that noise? been playing World of Tanks. Yes, it's a free-to-play game on PC with over 800 tanks and 40 battle arenas. They've got their holiday ops event on from now until January 9th. It's, it's the biggest of the year, don't you know, with all sorts of rewards like crews, tanks and new customizations that are only available from the daily and special missions. Put a couple shells to that building. You're going to see it real good. Anyway, like I was saying, the, the challenge is 28 missions from this year's celebrity special guest. It's uh, Vinnie Jones, yes. Anyway, you have to complete them in random and grand battles in a tier four or above tank and take part in the 28 consecutive missions to earn all sorts of new rewards, including Commander Vinnie himself. I'm telling you, he's right there. What's he doing out there? Doesn't he know there's a German tank? 
With 20 assignments to complete using warm amber and meteoric iron to boost XP and credits, you won't be short of rewards this festive season. And speaking of festivities, there's the new festive village garage for the Christmas tree, fair and the guest HQ. Mark two of your friends as best friends and visit each other's villages for extra resources and customizations. And don't forget to use the link in the description and on, and on screen now, as well as our code COMBAT. New players will get seven days free premium, 250,000 credits, premium Cromwell B, and three rentals for 10 battles each. That's the Tiger 131, the T-78, and the Type 64. And returning players will get three days premium, a 2D style bargain camo, seven day rental of the Centurion Mark 5 slash 1 RAACO, or 100,000 credits if you already own it. Right. I think we damn well outsung them. If this was a singing competition, we'd have won this by now. Now, let's talk some tactics, shall we? First off, I think we're playing too deep, gentlemen. We need to get out of the mud, okay? And try and make it into their half. We've been trying to do that for months, sir. Sir, I'm tired. Yes, only because you keep dribbling all over the pitch. That's the gas, sir. Look, Private Mooney, you need to get your ass into gear, all right? You've not had a single shot on target, and the goals are clearly demarcated by the big piles of jackets. It's not hard. Those aren't jackets, sir. Yes, they are. There's parts of them, you know, and khaki and red. I mean, yeah, there's jackets, sure, but there's trousers and boots and hats and arms and legs and all sorts. There's more to aim for, isn't it? I mean, come on, Private Mooney, you just didn't show up. Behind enemy lines, sir. Yeah. Offside, we call it. I'm bringing in another striker now to replace you because we need the goals. Here he comes. Bonjour. Now hang on a bloody minute, he's no footballer. He's French. Ah! Ah, please! Ah! 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 Skills. This gentleman is Pierre, third best striker in Lyon's second division weekend players. Yes, he's very, very good. Comes highly rated. No, fair play, he's 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 decent. Okay. Anyway, no one can complain because they're our allies. They're allowed to be on our team. Don't hate the players until tomorrow when the Christmas truce ends, then very much hate them. Yeah. Anyway, he's very experienced, so I'm gonna make him captain. Uh, so uh, give him your armband. I don't have a captain's armband. Uh, I'll just give, give him your hat, I suppose. Yes, sir. Here we Congratulations go. on the promotion. Good stuff. Right. Okay, tactic, guys. There's a guy with a gun who's called Goering. He's a guy normal, normal, so it should be easy to mark his attack, attack, attack. Yeah. yeah. Well, you heard the man? Yes, absolutely. That's a jolly good. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Private William Hill? He's got a Dear John Terry letter, sir. <laughs> she left me. Since I've got a gambling problem. <laughs> Attacko! Okay, oh, yeah, good yeah, luck, yeah. chaps. Good luck, remember. Champagne to the victors. Oh, lovely. I'm quite thirsty, actually. No, the region. It's, it's the Battle of Champagne. Good luck. Hopefully, it doesn't go to penalties. I can't believe it's gone to penalties. The sun's coming up now, too. Thank God Pierre scored that equaliser. Yeah, yeah, before he was taken prisoner, sir. Now, that was shocking. He had his hands up, appealing that tackle by Rommel. He was not surrendering. Still, at least our goalie stopped that shot from going in. The, the, the high explosive one, sir. Yes, yes, look, yeah. we can still win this thing, boys, okay? I'll be honest with you, sir, I think we may be running out of men to take penalties. Um, you know, ever since Private Mooney detonated that ammunition cache, it's... Uh... Ah, yes, poor Private Mooney. He will be missed. He certainly was, sir. Absolutely vaporised. Gosh, I'm getting nervous. Don't be nervous. Very few of our fans have made it out to see us. There's nearly no spectators out there at all, actually. Uh, that stand over there is completely empty. That's no fan stand, sir. Hello, chaps. Guess what? I got a loan. It's going to be OK. I, I bet it all on us winning the penalties. I, we're going to win, right? It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be OK. Well, you know, they do call it a penalty shootout. We could always bring on... Corporal Maxim to take a shot, eh? And, uh, Private Enfield. And Sergeant Millsbomb. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>
And they've done it. Another goal. That's 13-2 to England. As none of the German players are able to put up any defence after being shot. We're sure the FA must have something to say about this after the match. Surely there'll have to be words about this. All that being said, it's England 14, Germany 2. Join us again after the break, live in the studio here, where we discuss that riveting second half and VAR, that's Visual Aerial Reconnaissance. Do we need it? More after this.